I'm going to show you how to reduce your large, large video files so that they're ready to go for uh, YouTube or other video sharing sites. Now, you probably recognize that when you shoot a really high quality video with a good camera, it creates a very, very large file size and, um, and doesn't really work too well to upload it. So what you want to do is you want to download this program called MPEG Stream Clip. Now it's free. You can see where you can get it at squared5.com and it works on Windows and it works on Mac. Uh, so uh, it's and it's just works. It's just an excellent, excellent program. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up a video here that I've got. Now this particular video is nearly 500 megabytes. That's very large. It's only a four minute video but I shot it with a good camera so that's, that's why it's so large. So here's what you do. You go to file and you want to export it to MPEG4. And you're going to click iTunes over here. It doesn't matter that you're sending it to iTunes. And I'm going to choose Apple TV 1280 by 720. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go down to 960 to 540 because that's about the size of video that I showed. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much which of these you choose, but again, it usually corresponds with your original footage to, to maintain the um, as much of the resolution as you possibly can. So just click OK. You don't need to fiddle with too many of the other settings here, otherwise I'm just going to slide this quality all the way to the top and I'm going to uncheck the interlaced scaling because unless you use 1080 I, that's not going to matter. And then you simply click MPEG4 and choose a new spot here and we'll just call it, uh, give it a new name, click save. And it works rather quickly. Now I'm going to pause it so you don't have to watch the whole thing here. We'll come back to it when it finishes rendering. So that took about two or three minutes to render that four minute video. Now it, it shrunk it from 482 megabytes to 160. Now that's still a fairly large file. There, you could go into some more settings if you wanted to um, and, and try to reduce the size even more. Back here to your export to MPEG-4, uh, you don't have to push it up to all this quality. Um, you could go down to a 720, 480, it still maintain a lot of the uh, high resolution. But again, you're always, you know, that's the, that's the dilemma. You're trying to get as much resolution and as much clarity as you can. Uh, and yet reducing the file size. So obviously the variables are the length of your original footage, the quality that you shot it in, and really what your output is. Uh, play around with it, but the key thing to remember is this H.264 is the compression codec that you want to kind of focus on. And as I said before, I went with this size here. You could you could go lower if you want to as well. Um, uh, but generally speaking, these, these do work really well for particularly the iPad, um, Apple TV, of course, but but YouTube is is more what we're kind of focusing on here. So uh, that MPEG stream clip from Square.5 is the uh, software you want to get and use to compress and format your video for YouTube.